Okay, my family has been eating this salad on repeat. This is week three now. So I thought it was about time that I made an official video all for itself so that I could share it with you guys. Did I have to Google how to cut a butternut squash? Yes, I did. And it's actually really easy. So I'm gonna show you what I found. And while we're speaking of cutting, if you do not have a good set of knives, I'm gonna link the ones that I have for you because they're really great. I'm gonna cut this end off. And then, um, let's think. <laughs> Did you already do it wrong? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna cut it about in half. <laughs> I, think, I think this is right. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, I'm also gonna cut this end off. <laughs> Scary. Scary, eh? No. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, this is what they showed. They would, they cut the outside off like this. Don't like this. So you go through, oh. <laughs> Guys, it's fine. Just cut it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't say it was gonna be easy. Guys, I, this is just what I Googled. Blame Google and just do the best you can. Just do the best you can. It's, <laughs> it's not super easy. Just get the job done. I didn't say this was gonna be perfect. I didn't say it was gonna be cute. Just do it. Stop complaining. <laughs> I feel like everybody's getting lectured. <laughs> well, I can just, I feel the judgment, so I'll just be quiet. <laughs> I feel the judgment. Comment down below if you're judging. No, actually don't. Just don't. <laughs> Just hashtag judging. <laughs> okay, who, what, what team are you on? Joel's or mine? <laughs> You're all on Joel's, I already know it. I don't think I have a choice, but I'm team Bonnie. That's right, Tootie. <laughs> the inside has some seeds. So I think it starts right here. So I'm just gonna cut that part off and see what we got. Yeah, so see that up here is fine. We'll cut that in. But then the part that has the seeds, you just cut in half and then we'll scrape that out. See the top part of it is so much easier to cut because it's more straight and it doesn't have that curvature. But anyway, now it's really easy and you can just cut your pieces into slices. I do them a little bit thick. It's a little hard. A little aggressive. And then I'm just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces to go on top of the salad. It's a firm, it's a firm squash. Even though my knife is really sharp, the butternut squash really is difficult to cut. Um, so that's why you need a really good knife. We made it, we did it, no one got hurt. Maybe feelings, but <laughs> okay, we're gonna drizzle this with olive oil. You can use however much you want. And then we've just been using just like, you know, that much salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna toss it and put it on a baking sheet. All of my veggies at 400 and I just keep an eye on them. It's usually around, oh, I don't know, it depends on what it is. This is like 20 minutes-ish and I just cook them until they're soft. While the squash is cooking, I'm going to plate up the lettuce. This is, you can do whatever greens you want. I'm doing half spring mix and half spinach. Now here's the debate. I like the chicken cold the kids want it warmed up. How about I put it on mine and then I'll warm the kids up. That's a good idea. This is a rotisserie chicken. You can do whatever chicken is gonna work for you. Um, this is easy and I grab it when I do my grocery shopping at the beginning of the week, shred it up while it's warm because that's what's easier and then we'll layer it on the salad like this. Sadly, pomegranates are no longer in season, but I was able to find the ones that were in the package. So we're going to top them with pomegranates. It is the best part of the salad. We'll see what she's gonna look like. Okay, it's, pretty well. it's good, it's good. She's not blowing my mind, but it's good. 
Some of my kids love avocado, some of them will just tolerate avocado, but we'll put a little on their plates. I usually do about a half an avocado for each kid, and then a half avocado for Joel and I. Sorry, what? A quarter avocado. <laughs> a quarter avocado for each kid, a half of a half, and then a full half for Joel. The sauce is super easy. You're gonna do equal parts of extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Um, depends on how much you want. Um, I start with a cup. Like, so I do a full cup of each. You can save the rest in your fridge. But I actually do a little less of the olive oil because a full cup, that's a lot of extra virgin olive oil. So I do a little less than I do the vinegar. I'm gonna do about a fourth cup of honey, probably a little less. Why is the bottle so shaky? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm trying to squeeze it out. So I'm just going to whisk as I drizzle the honey in. You're just gonna whisk it really, really well. When you're finished whisking it, it should look a little something like this. Tell me that does not look like such a delicious, hearty salad. I don't like eating salads unless I'm gonna get full. That is how we make our butternut pomegranate salad. If you guys decide to try it, make sure you tag me in a story on Instagram so that I can see you making it. If you guys wanna see any other cooking videos that I've done, I will have a playlist in the description below. If you guys enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. You, if you do not have, sorry. Just John Wayne this thing, if anybody knows it, the reference, that's funny. I'm just gonna cut it out because it feels easier. You know what, just shh. <laughs> that's not what I was gonna say. Your knife is really sharp. I have lots of pepper. I don't know why I did that, sorry. Yeah, you yeah, dad. This is for later. <laughs> Shake that pepper. My knife, even the. You need to tell me when you're ready, so I Oh, I'm good. Um, Stick a fork in it. scary that was scary for all of us lincoln i do not want to hear fighting over the nintendo <laughs> no i think that was you fighting over the nintendo if you so <laughs> so that is that is how we make our butternut what is it called butternut pomegranate pomegranate